To this point, Graham Mertz's collegiate career has been an emotional roller coaster. He was the highest rated quarterback recruit to ever commit to Wisconsin, was named the Kansas Gatorade Player of the Year, broke the All American Bowl record for touchdowns, and was named the game MVP. He had all the hype surrounding him to the point Badger fans pushed Jack Cohn out of Madison, or so it felt being on campus at the time. During his first game, he went out and put on an amazing performance, being tweeted at by quarterbacks like Patrick Mahomes and getting showered with praise. Then, out of nowhere, he just fell off. Anytime his name is brought up in a conversation, people either ask what the hell happened, say he is overrated, or passionately say he sucks. Or so that was until he transferred to Florida this past spring. Now, Mertz has the Gators sitting at 5-2 with a massive matchup against Georgia this weekend in the world's largest cocktail party. He looks to be a completely different quarterback and has seemingly revived his career. Had this happen? Stay tuned to find out. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm planning to release multiple videos a week this season. Also, let me know who you want me to cover in future videos in the comment section below. Graham Mertz grew up in Overland Park, Kansas, which is a highly populated suburb of Kansas City, which meant there was a lot of competition for sports teams. Mertz was a talented young kid, but he had to build his way up from the bottom. He spent his first two years of high school at Bishop Mage in Roseland Park, Kansas, where he backed up All-State quarterback Carter Putz. Right before his junior year, he decided that he was going to transfer to Blue Valley North High School. Once he transferred, he led his school to a Class 6A state championship, completing 62% of his passes for 3,684 yards and 45 touchdowns, while also rushing for 344 yards and 5 touchdowns on the ground. During his senior year, he completed 61.1% of his passes for 3,886 yards and a state record 51 touchdowns, as well as rushing for 267 yards and 4 touchdowns on the ground, while leading his team to the 6A runner-up position. He was a finalist for the Elite 11 quarterback competition that year and was the Gatorade Kansas Football Player of the Year. Coming out of high school, Mertz was the third highest rated pro style quarterback and 65th best player in the country. He fell in love with Wisconsin, which I can't blame him, Madison is a special place, and became the highest ranked quarterback recruit to sign to the Badgers in modern football recruiting history. Before Mertz even got to Wisconsin, his name was already in the headlines during the All-American game when he led the East team to a 48-14 win while completing 7 of his 14 passes for 188 passing yards and 5 touchdowns. Mertz set the record for passing yards and touchdowns in the game before Spencer Rattler broke Mertz's passing yards mark with 234. Mertz broke the touchdown record by 2 touchdowns and won the MVP award for the game. Badger fans, including myself, were getting excited to see what he could do in Madison. In 2019, three-year Wisconsin starting quarterback Alex Hornibrook announced he was going to be transferring to Florida State. This left an opening at the quarterback position, and there was going to be a quarterback competition between Graham Mertz and junior Jack Cohn. As a true freshman, Mertz lost the preseason quarterback competition to the veteran Cohn. Mertz appeared in two games in 2019, going 9 of 10 for 73 yards. Cohn led Wisconsin to a 10-4 record, losing the Rose Bowl to Oregon, and it seemed like this was going to be Cohn's team once again during his senior season. That was until news broke that Jack Cohn needed foot surgery a few weeks before the start of the delayed 2020 COVID-19 season. Due to the injury, the hyped young quarterback would be given the opportunity to show off his talent in an empty Camp Randall Stadium, and show off he did. Mertz started his Badger career off with a bang, throwing for 248 yards and 5 touchdowns, completing 20 of his 21 passes. He arguably had one of the greatest quarterback performances in school history. He looked like the guy who was going to help Wisconsin over the hump. Mertz would then test positive for COVID-19 and missed a few weeks of action before returning for the Badgers game against Michigan almost a month later. Mertz threw for 127 yards and two touchdowns in their blowout win, but that is where the positives would end for the freshman quarterback. Down the stretch, in important games against Northwestern, Indiana, Purdue, Iowa, and Minnesota, Mertz combined for one touchdown to five interceptions, and the Badgers would lose three of their last four games. He finished the year throwing for 1,238 yards, nine touchdowns, and five interceptions, while also rushing for two touchdowns on the ground. A win against Wake Forest in the Dukes Mayo Bowl gave Badger fans hope that he could lead Wisconsin to a special season in 2021. 
The 2021 season was a rough one, even though the Badgers went 9-4. and four. There was a lot left to be desired and a lot of blown opportunities left on the table. They blew it against Penn State in the season opener, got blown out by a Jack Cohn-led Notre Dame team at Soldier Field, and lost to Michigan at home, which saw Mertz get knocked out with an injury halfway through the game. At the time, the Badgers were only down 13-10, but the air was taken out of the offense. Mertz had two touchdowns and seven interceptions in Wisconsin's first seven games. Although he threw at least one touchdown in five of the team's last six games, the one he didn't, a 23-13 loss to Minnesota in the regular season finale, prevented Wisconsin from winning the West Division. At this point, he had 19 touchdowns to 16 career interceptions, and Badger fans were slowly starting to turn on Mertz as the rose-tinted glasses disappeared over a two-year span. The Flames were only stoked that offseason when rumors started that Wisconsin was considered in the running when it came to adding Caleb Williams. During this crazy time period, chants of We Want Caleb roared throughout the Cole Center during Badger basketball games, but Caleb would choose to follow Lincoln Riley to Oklahoma, which everyone expected. But the damage was done. The Badger fanbase had turned on Mertz like they had turned on Cone and Hornybrook beforehand. Mertz told The Athletic, I wasn't at the game, but like real talk, everybody is allowed to have their own opinion. If I were a fan and we lost four games, I wouldn't be happy. But you appreciate when fans ride with you through the thick and thin. I'm excited for this year. I hope they are. Mertz went into the 2022 season ready to prove the doubters wrong and live up to the hype he came into college with. The Badgers entered the 2022 season with high expectations and what looked to be a special team on paper. Graham Mertz at quarterback, Ches Malusi at Braylon Allen at running back, and a stacked defense that consisted of a bunch of players now playing on Sunday. They also brought in Bobby Ingram to serve as the quarterback coach and offensive coordinator. This was supposed to be the year. This was going to be the year. And then it wasn't. The Badgers won their season opener against Illinois State, but then got upset at home by Washington State 17-14. They fell out of the polls and would never return the rest of the season. They rebounded with the 66-7 win over New Mexico State, but got embarrassed on national television by number 3 Ohio State 52-21. Things continued to pile on as former Badger coach Brett Bielema brought his Illinois Fighting Illini team into Madison and beat them down 34-10, holding the Badgers to two rushing yards. Mertz finished that game throwing for 206 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions, while also having negative 22 rushing yards. Athletic director Chris McIntosh shocked the college football world when he fired Chris after the game, sending the message that we need to do better in Madison. Mertz and the Badgers bounced back in a crucial win against Northwestern, which saw Mertz throw for 299 yards and five touchdowns. But going 3-3 and down the stretch, including losses to Iowa and Minnesota in very winnable games, led to the end of the Graham Mertz era in Madison. After the Minnesota game, Graham announced he was going to be entering the transfer portal where he landed at Florida, where he looked to help second-year head coach Billy Napier rebuild his program after losing six scholarship quarterbacks over a 12-month period. Mertz beat former Ohio State transfer Jack Miller for the starting quarterback role and looked to revive his career. He threw for 333 yards and a touchdown and an interception and a loss on the road to Utah to open up the season but has been near perfect since that game. Other than the South Carolina game and Utah games, he has completed more than 79.2% of his passes in the other five games. He is currently thrown for 1,897 yards, 12 touchdowns and only two interceptions, while completing 76.2% of his passes and adding two scores on the ground. He led the Gators to a clutch win over South Carolina on the road, throwing for 423 yards and three touchdowns and looks like a completely different player. It finally looks like Graham Mertz is living up to the high expectations he entered college with, unfortunately in a different uniform than in the Wisconsin uniform. He looks like a new player, but that will be tested this weekend against number one Georgia down in Jacksonville. There we will learn whether he truly has saved his career, or whether he still is the same old Graham Mertz. While he is no longer a Badger, I am still rooting for him. He is someone I have covered since 2020, and I wish him all the success in the world. I will be rooting hard for Graham and the Florida to upset Georgia this weekend. But can they do it? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe for more college football content. Thank you so much for watching and as always, remember to embrace the grind.